Hi there, my name is Simi Williams. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I wanna share five tips for improving your vocabulary. As a presenter or communicator, one instrument you require to excel as a speaker is an adequate grasp of the English language because that is the official lingua franca in Nigeria and of course if you can speak this language eloquently and fluently you can negotiate you can sell you can network and build relationships I'm just gonna say this off the top of my head and just share with you what has worked for me over the years right um, I've been told I'm rather eloquent and although i did not i wasn't i was not really intentional about being eloquent but my habits really predisposed me to acquiring this skill you know naturally without trying so hard the very first skill very first habit we need to have is a reading habit you need to have a reading habit forget about learning how to speak eloquently if you don't like how to if you don't like reading you need to learn it <laughs> you need to learn it you need to read read and keep reading that is how you improve your vocabulary new sources articles fiction non-fiction newspapers magazines read everything now while you're reading you practice mindful reading we live in a world where we are so distracted such that you can be doing one thing but your mind which is the monkey mind is jumping from one place to the other so you may have stared at the, at a piece of article for 20 minutes and when you're done you've forgotten everything you read and everything you saw completely why although you looked at the words you did not assimilate what you're reading and you were not totally focused if this is what you want to do you need your 100 percent focus and concentration you cannot allow yourself to be distracted you need to dedicate one hour or two hours per day depending on how flexible your schedule is to improving your grammar when you are reading it's not so much about how much you read but the attitude with which you're reading right and that's why i mentioned focus and concentration earlier that was that was what helped me i started reading i have i was an avid reader as a child i wasn't allowed to play with my mates so my comfort then was books so i would read and read and read and read and read i read to an extent that i started reading the bible we had that when you bonke easy to read version i would carry that that was how i passed my time as a kid right i read the bible i read magazines i read novels i read whatever was available to read <laughs> i read it i was a, i was a book thief as a child if i saw a book with you and you were my friend my purpose from that point will be able to steal that book from you take it home finish it and return it the next day right so i didn't know that was I, that what that was doing for me but i just really love to get lost in the world of books and adventures and you know and all that and that really helped me as a person and now as a communicator you know a media personality so reading is really essential for you as a person so while reading you, you need you, you need to get a book a pen and a paper or a jotter get a jotter for new words right if you see a new word that you've never come across before write it down write it down pause write it down get your dictionary check what does it mean how is this used what are what are antonyms for this what are synonyms that are what are words that are similar in meaning that i can use in place of this for example egregious i heard that word in a movie and i'm like pause what was that so i carried uh, i went online to check what does it mean egregious means outstandingly bad right or horrible or a major faux pas or mistake right egregious is terrible it's a, that, that, that's a synonym for egregious right and i know this how i knew this because i was practice i was practicing attentive listening for everything i watch i think i've primed my brain to seek out new words wherever whether a pastor is preaching whether my friends are conversing when i'm watching a movie when i'm watching a comedy show if i'm seeing whatever it is i'm watching my ears are primed to pick new words like okay so you said i'm in a bit of a pickle i don't know what to, i'm in a bit of a pickle and i need your help and i'm like pause what does that mean a bit of a pickle i went online what does it mean to be in a pickle that's how you learn <laughs> what does it mean to be in a pickle and then he tells me 
it means you are in a bind that's another that's another phrase it means you're in a bind it means you are uh in a confusing situation you need help getting that up that's what it means to be in a pickle right so when you do this long enough you realize that naturally you don't speak the same way you used to you have a lot of words at your disposal to communicate your thoughts right because you can have the most amazing message most life-changing message ever in your mind in your head but if you don't have the right tools to convey your message to your audience you're gonna be it's just as if you never had anything to begin with so as long as you want to communicate in english language you need to learn how to use it right in what context right and if you're learning new words you, you don't just learn the words in isolation right you you learn um the context in which it is used right i've said a whole lot i mean i have bullet points or listicles but just pick the points from what i'm trying to say because i'm speaking from my head yeah that's it do not be caught on fresh <laughs> do not be caught no reading if you are an on a personality or you're just an individual trying to better themselves or improve themselves you know communication wise you will need to learn how to improve your vocabulary and this is one of the ways to do it you shouldn't be watching african magic yoruba i'm sorry don't do it mm -mm. that ain't gonna help you except your study to become a, a herbalist so yes <laughs> reading is key and you should do that number two immerse yourself in the environment where the language is being spoken now we are all in nigeria you, you, you may not be able to afford traveling overseas well how do you immerse yourself in the world where english language is spoken movies okay immerse yourself in movies american movies <laughs> yeah yeah watch loads of that that also helps me watch movies foreign movies foreign shows foreign programs listen to foreign interviews watch bbc watch cnn good morning america good morning britain you know the tamron hall show just put your intentionally expose yourself to environments where the english language where the natural speakers are you get that's it that's how you learn how to speak english and not just how to speak but how to speak it correctly that's that's where you get pronunciations right right watch movies listen to podcasts hello listen to podcasts watch youtube channels like this one and just i'm talking about massive exposure expose yourself to environments where english language is being used natural speakers now i mean native speakers i beg your pardon native speakers and after a while you begin to you you see the changes trust me <laughs> give yourself three months just do this consistently for three months read books watch movies come back and tell me what you find out all right i don't want this to be longer than it already is so maybe we just make it three points shall we the third point last and final point i want to share with you is that you should download apps you know for vocabulary development vocabulary.com is an example you can just go on google play to download it you know vocabulary.com is there you can play those games word games um you can also play word games right your yeah, apps for that on your google play store or apple play store you can also play scrabble you know you can either get a physical you know board or you play online with a computer right that's how you develop yourself and speak as much as possible the, the words you're learning use them in conversations for example you learned a new word let's see let's see let's see i don't know give me a word now <laughs> what's a new word i learned the other day impervious right impervious impervious can mean impregnable can mean um immune or Im impervious to the to the danger in sight how do I use this word? Impervious. Let me see if I'm using it, using it correctly, okay? I think it's indifferent or impenetrable. Is it? Okay. Not allowing fluid to pass through. See? I got it. Unable to be affected by. Like indifferent. Like I don't care that kind of attitude. So that's it. I knew. I, I knew. I, I knew. I've, I've seen the word somewhere. Just impervious to something. Unaffected by something. That's what impervious means. 
right right now i'm talking to you on camera i don't care what you think about me i'm impervious to your thoughts about me right now you get what i'm trying to say so whatever words you learn just find ways of using it people will tell you you are showing up you don't care you know what you're gunning for right that's how this works whatever words you learn use it in conversations with your friends with your teachers you know write a letter to yourself including those words in it just use them as as much as you can and um after a while it becomes a part of you it becomes a habit you may even start to enjoy it right you never know where opportunities may come for you and <laughs> if you're not prepared if you're not ready it's gonna pass you by right you know what happens what they say luck is what opportunity means preparation if you ain't prepared opportunity will keep knocking at your door and you will keep missing it because you ain't prepared so you need to plan for where you want to go right if you want to be a global citizen a global figure you need to start thinking globally you're going to be speaking to heads of nations you're going to be speaking at ted ed conferences overseas and abroad you want to sound like you know what you're talking about i'm not i'm not talking about having having an accent i'm talking about speaking good speaking great being eloquent and fluent and articulate right this is a, this is a great skill to have though it's a really amazing skill to have i'm not there yet honestly to me i i, I still got a long way to go <laughs> okay but I'm aware of what I need to work on and I'm working on it. So if you keep being around people who speak terrible, have baked English, it's going to rub off on you somehow. So, but you may need to tell your friends to speak to you correctly, speak correct English, right? Don't say, um, I'm with you, Sha, or things like that. Eliminate it. Eliminate it. When you write, write in full. Don't write in short form. Do not answer people who talk to you using short form how are you and that is h-o-w-r and you that is so annoying i can block you for that i don't like it in whatever form so you need to be intentional about what you allow into your space right what you allow into your eyes and your ears because that is actually what alters your mind body chemistry you need to be mindful of that and if you have a goal inside you should eliminate every other distractions and go all in right go all in if there's someone you like if there's a person a figure you like you like how to talk you like how to reason stay with them model them like just get their books watch their podcasts watch their video presentations just learn and glean everything you can from that person before you know it you're going to become that maybe not them but maybe a version of you that sounds like them because what you behold you become okay so if you, if your goal is to be sound eloquent right vusi fembekwayo i don't know if i'm getting that correctly the south african genius is someone i really love i mean the guy speaks correctly and i'm like are you not an african how do you speak so good <laughs> right <laughs> how do you speak so great i just i'm just like <sighs> you know bonang mateba these are african personalities right and they are just so damn good though so damn good i really love listening and watching them you know impact theory that's um tom bill you lisa bill you you know the diary of a ceo Stephen bartlett and so on and so forth there's a whole lot you can watch and listen to a lot of podcasts online you can watch instead of wasting your time watching watching people pop balloons that doesn't have anything to you in whatsoever form watch value driven content content that will educate you that will make your life better right be intentional about what you're consuming that's how you get better at anything whatsoever hello not really just making that money big ups to her or you what are you doing with your life what are, what are you doing to make yourself better you're spending your data to put money in another man's pocket what are you getting in return for the data you're burning on a daily basis be intentional about, about where your money is going whatever your, your money should be putting value into your brain actually empty your pocket to fill your brain buy books if you have if, if you've never bought a book in your life you are joking okay it's not too late for you i don't want to be the absolute person that goes if you've never done this at a certain age all over for you know it's not all over right you can start now and change now and then turn around your life now okay if you've not started doing that buy books right buy books it's one two three thousand era get books say it like obama is a book for public speakers go get that it's three two three thousand two hundred naira. that's how you get better y'all why am i doing this i don't know but you know what i'm trying to say <laughs>
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned a lot from it. You are doing amazing. I love you. Bye bye. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? Thanks.